been very privileged to meet a lot of Sadiqim in my life. One night I walked into a Chabad house in Berkeley, California, and I saw a scene like I never saw before. It was Reb Mendel, Reb Reichik. Reb Reichik was a holy Sadiq, but when he stood next to Reb Mendel, he looked like a yeshiva bacher. I walked in and I said, you're beautiful. I never saw a man like that in my life. What did I see? Reb Mendel used to tell a story. He said you should try to become the type of Jew the way a Cossack picks his horse. To pick a horse, a Cossack would take a wild stallions, a herd of wild stallions, and run them three days and three nights until they were exhausted. They would push them into a raging river, would, would wash almost all of them away. One or two or three would get to the other side and keep running. But of all the ones who made it to the other side, one or two would look back and see the other horses being washed away, and they'd jump back into the river to help to save them. And that's the type of Jew we have to become. Rebbe Reichik, I used to be his driver. In the morning, we go early in the morning to the butcher. Why would we go to the butcher? To put the filling on the butcher. Then we go to the baker. Why do we go to the baker? To get the cookies for the cheder. Then we go to the valley and pick up a chair. And all day long, we went from place to place doing things trying to help the Jewish community. Then there was a Bremel. Did you ever meet a Bremel? Levitansky? the most loving person you ever met in your life. He'd work all day long just trying to help Jewish people. He'd come home at night, he'd be so exhausted. What would be for supper? A bag of peanuts and he wouldn't even make it to bed, he'd lay on the floor. He told me one day he was sitting there and he said, is this what I want for my life, to work all day long for the Jewish people and come home for dinner and all I get is a bag of peanuts and lay on the floor? He said, yeah. I kept meeting these holy sadikim. But now I looked around and I said, where are they? They're all gone. They all passed away. Who are the holy people today? I looked all over the world and I found two people. The shluchim that the Rebbe sent into the field that are all over the world, that wake up every day looking to try to help the Jewish people. When you do what the Rebbe said to do, you are the Rebbe in the world today. You are his hand. And ten times more than the shluchim are their wives. Without the wives, there'd be a can of pickles and a pair of tefillin. She makes the Jewish world.